Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Now, you know, my question is, you know, how does the job market look for, you know, this specific computer science that's coming out, um, let's say like you know, 2010, 2011? So, like, what's your view on it? Well, the market's always going to change. In fact, we had quite a few CIS and MIS majors at uh, the University of Northern Iowa, which is my alma mater. I was not, you know, a part of any of those programs, certainly. I mean, I was, you know, in the, the humanities and fine arts. I was an English major. But I, you know, hung out with geeks, so of course they were they were well versed in, in this kind of stuff. Uh, there, it the market, at least in Iowa, seemed to be geared towards insurance companies. Because of that, they were still teaching COBOL at the university level for a lot of legacy uh, applications that were still in enterprise and, and likely still are. Uh, you know, once a language is out there, and especially if there's heavy deployment and, and you have these systems yeah. that rely on it, I mean, the chances of it, you know, ever disappearing uh, between slim and none. I mean, it, COBOL is as much of a dead language as Latin. I mean, people still learn and, and speak and, and read and, and write that language. Um, oh, yeah. But in terms of the job market and where it stands, uh, you're likely, with that degree, looking at, uh, you know, throwing your resume at some rather large corporations. Uh, you know, how how is your skill set in terms of an independent developer? Um, you know, like, you know, throughout my college years, you know, I've been here for five years, and uh, the, the language I've used most of the time was, uh, was Java, and uh, it was C++ before, and then it took over to Java at my school, so, um, and uh, I do a lot of, um, well, I'm going to put myself in Java, and I'm Visual Basic, you know, and HTML, XHTML, PHP. You know, I've done a lot of database work as well, you know, MySQL, Oracle, you know, everything like that. So, um, you know, on the side, you know, I, you know, I handle networking with, with my friends, and uh, my programming skills, I would say, you know, it's about, you know, it's about, I would say, 60 40. You know, it's pretty good, but I like more hands on and networking, or, um, you know, I, I'm trying to do a side job, you know, helping people with. Computers and, you sure. Know, with them, so. You know the, the the consultant route is always a possibility if if you're not really into uh, quote unquote selling your soul uh, to the man. Uh, you know there there are quite a few firms out there that uh, would basically outsource or be outsourced through. Um, you know where you're going to be able to apply your skills to it. The reason why I was asking about your your you, you know the ability to develop is that is a, a very uh, flexible skill and you would be very wise to continue to hone that. Um, okay. of, of course, you know, networking is not going to disappear anytime soon. Uh, the more you can do in your community, and this really applies to any career, whether it's tech related or not, the more you can do uh, the more visible you are, you know, either in a direct or ancillary fashion, um, you know, not only are the more job prospects going to pop up, whether you're an independent uh, or whether you're working for somebody else, um, this is, you know, kind of the way it's, it's going and flowing. Uh, one of the things that I've discovered in, you know, just local meetups and tweet ups, uh, I meet people with a wide variety of backgrounds, and some people are just, you know, looking for a new job, or maybe uh, they uh, they want to change careers. Uh, and you know, you you don't know where you're going to be ten years from now. You don't know where computers are going to be ten years from now. Uh, but exactly. those social connections that you're making are going to enable uh, you know you to, I guess, find the path before the path's been illuminated. Uh, you know, there there are plenty of events that happen, you know, all across the world. Uh, Startup Weekend being one of them, uh, and, and certainly uh, programs like that where you have a group of people get together, create something, and at the end of the weekend they have something that you know may go on to be funded or not. Uh, either way, the connections that you're making with other people will transcend any job that you happen to take, even any career that you happen to carve out for yourself. So. My suggestion for you, you know, beyond you know what jobs may be available for that particular major, is be as social as possible. Those skills will transcend oh, yeah. any job title you have, and and specifically, be active. Be as active as you can. You know, that's something that will put your name in 
uh, kind of a collective mind share in terms of this is what this guy does really well uh, and our company now needs a position like that or we know a company that needs a position like that you're gonna see opportunities just kind of unfold in front of you uh, and uh, you know the uh, being open in in the uh, sense of uh, your uh, I guess your quote unquote extracurricular activities is probably going to serve you better than the actual major that you received or I guess the degree that you received at, at uh, a university level because it's about the connections that you're going to make not necessarily the knowledge you have um, exactly, exactly. I mean not to sit, not to underplay it a, at all oh, no, yeah. but you know I graduated with a degree in English education and I'm applying it but <laughs> I carved out a career that I never would imagine possible even up until the point I graduated I didn't know what I wanted to be yeah. so you know the one thing that served me well is is constant discovery and communication it's uh, it's absolutely uh, crucial especially in a questionable job market you de you never know you never know especially the you know the you know, working for somebody else you know you're subject to their you know whims and policies um, you know if that's your thing awesome just make sure you've protected yourself with a, a wealth of experience that makes you somewhat indispensable. Very good, Chris. Yeah, uh, I enjoy talking to you, all the work you do, and um, I hope we, uh, we talk again soon. So, sure. No worries. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, have a good night, and uh, take care, okay? You too. Right, thank you again. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.